Just three radio hosts on air, dumb debating. Just three radio hosts on air, dumb debating. Good to be back for dumb debates. The segment that you get to take over. Remember, uh, next week you get to take over the whole show. Because yes, it's Jan six in July. Mm-hmm. Topic alert: the whole show. Yep, because we're going to be here for you. Yeah, but this is going to be the ultimate in summer radio, where we're going to tackle just all your best summer topics. Yep. So send them to us when they come to your head into the JTEC Construction Zone Twitter page at USC1620. Josh is keeping a list. He's checking it twice. And that's also the same place you can send your dumb debates. Mm -hmm. Anytime you think of a dumb debate, write it down, remember it, text it to us into the 42 Degrees of Source hotline, 402-951-1620. Tweet at us into the JTEC Construction Zone Twitter page. Use the hashtag dumb debates. Email it to us, john at 1620thezone.com, josh at 1620thezone.com, Equitable Bank Inbox, and we will get to them. Like this one, this one's like uh, oh, oh, two months old. Well, maybe we've done it then. Yeah. Well, did we do Alex's debate? Because uh, uh, this it, this is very dated, but it's still kind of appropriate. Okay. Would you rather be the person responsible for the controlled burns in Kansas that ruin our air quality every year, Hopefully or be a malevolent God that creates universal suffering for all? The first. The latter sounds horrible. The first sounds slightly annoying. But universal suffering also includes bad guys like Nazis. Wow. You don't want Nazis to suffer? Oh, so we should all suffer so that the bad guys can suffer? Is we that all what suffer saying? because a lady ate a fruit. Oh, that's Genesis. He's talking about Eve. Look at Nick blaming the woman first. I figured he'd go with Adam. The Bible blamed the woman. Hmm. So and you quoted it. Nick just retweeted it. He <laughs> quoted, did. retweeted, retweets our endorsements, Nick. Also, really quick, John saying January 6th reminded me of this uh, clip that I got from the College World Series. It was like a festival of beach balls <laughs> called Strike. One and two. You could have floated all the way across the Missouri River if you had just grabbed all of those. I mean, it's like the January 6th of beach balls. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's I must funny. say, you know what? What? Kudos. Yeah, I was a to little Nick disappointed. Grimm January 6th. I supporters? wanted to see the bubble machines from Texas AM, but apparently they didn't allow those in the stadium. Oh. But if the trade off was they were also cracking down on the beach ball terrorists, I'll take it. I'll take they it. They weren't, though, because there was, I swear, you know how those commercial breaks are like a minute and a half? Yeah. John left the studio for exactly a minute and a half. It yeah. was just me and Farron in the booth. And in that amount of time, eight beach balls, I counted them, landed on the field in the same place. Just wow. one after another. And you were beach gone? Ball, beach you ball, missed beach this? Ball, beach ball. Interesting. Yes, but we had far fewer interruptions. And it wasn't because the people actually could control their beach balls. There were fewer of them this year. So bravo, mm. Charles Schwab Field and NCAA, as we try to rid the world of beach ball terrorism. Wow. I, I partook in some beach balling on Monday. It was fun. And were you at a place that was not a baseball field that you were interrupting someone else's game? No. I, I was at the game. Aaron and Papillion asks, which Nepo baby will have a better pro career, Bronny or either of Dion's sons? Bronny. Wow. No. Because I think Dion has too much ill will for his nepotism. To, I think his nepotism cancels out because of how he is. How does that answer the question? So you think that should I think be Bronny will have a better career because I think that not that he's necessarily better, but because his dad is more likable. But no, Nick, we're talking about better career. I but that's part of being a Nepo baby. Your parent, you're kind of riding your parents' coattails. No, but we're saying who will be better at their craft? L Bronny at basketball or Shadur at playing quarterback okay, see, in the NFL? I guess I didn't take it as specifically the craft. Just no, who they're will saying get, who will be better, who will have a better pro career, yeah. who will get farther. No, is what who, I took. Well, it both of them are going to make it to the pros, right? Yeah, Shadur will be a first rounder. I think Shadur. Yeah, I do too, easily. But you, you're going to go with Bronny. I'll go with Bronny. That'd be quite the upset. Um, let's see. So, I mean, it's possible if, you know, Shadur gets drafted and then gets hurt right away and flames yeah, out. Quarterbacks are a crapshoot anyway. They can I just, be, but I, I just. Bronny's getting I picked so someone can get his dad. Yeah. He I, is not. He averaged four points a game in college. He, 
unless I'm missing something, and I'm missing a lot. No way. This is this is as hard to understand as Clifford Caleb Kingsbury getting a shot in the NFL. Hey, he went he to the playoffs. A... He did. He did, John. He went to the playoffs once. Yeah, and who waxed that ass? My team did. Got uh, rid of him. Sam says, future dumb debate question. Does Doug count as a Nepo baby? Oh, yeah. interesting. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, Jimmy Allen, host of After Hours with Jimmy uh, Allen. Which conspiracy theory we got? Good question, Nick. It sadly is not a conspiracy theory. Now, it is Wing Wednesday oh. on After Hours. Um, he writes, Buffalo sauce or the field on your wings? So Buffalo sauce or all of the other sauces? Like at the same time? Ooh, no, no, no right. just in, ooh, that. I'm a dry rub guy. I so don't you're like taking saucy. the field then. I don't like saucy wings. See, this is an easy oh, one for me. I love saucy wings. I'm just I... a Buffalo wings guy. I don't like the other sauces. I want the regular Buffalo sauce. I love you... me a lemon pepper dry rub. Lemon pepper. Now, bit. I am going to go the field only because. I do love a good hot barbecue. I love the mango habanero. Uh, um, one of my favorites. Not yeah. a big garlic parmesan fan or anything like that. I do like the uh, Korean barbecue mm. on the wing. So I so so for the variety standpoint, here's my problem with a lot of places. My problem with you people. Whoa, they're still the delicious you wings. But I wish more people did the actual traditional buffalo wing sauce. What do you mean? Well, I think some people just kind of, it's just like the Frank's Red Hot or whatever, which is fine, again. But the original buffalo wing sauce, it's it, it's got the butter in it, and it coats a little I wonder more. Where, where and, do you go? Because like, I feel like when I go to wing sauces, either either maybe the way I have it at these restaurants, it's not the original way. It might not be, but I... I, I feel like it is. Like, I like the buffalo sauce flavor, that... that I do, and I do too, sauce. but it's more like Oscars, than that Oscars kind of flavor yeah, to it. The hoop the, and yeah. the harm. Yeah. Oh man, I love my one. I do. I do Happy love the birthday buffalo to sauce. me. My one exception to saucy wings is mango habanero, but yeah. I don't necessarily like it. Mm. I love mango habanero. No, I love it's, the it's, taste. I don't like. I don't like being sticky. Don't like being sticky. I don't like being sticky. I mean, when you're Just eating your wings, wings well, yeah, when wet wipes. No, but like you still then your saliva sticky. You got residue. You, you can feel it. You can feel when you lick your well, fingers. You, you got the okay. Wash your hands. You're eating yeah, food. You, yeah. Once you're done eating, you go to the bathroom and wash your hands. Yeah, I wash That's my hands anyway, but like, I don't want to like do that awkward, like not trying to get sauce on things. Just, I feel, I feel well, sticky. I mean, one hand, usually, like me, so you can text still. You usually, you're Text uh, and wing. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, it's not like you're having something that requires a fork. Right. I understand that it's possible. Your fries but or also your explains Nick's pizza take that he has about a particular pizza place in town, and he always says it's too greasy. It is too greasy. It's too greasy. You're supposed too to wipe greasy. your hands. I mean, good. Sometimes yeah. good food is greasy. Yeah, like good fried chicken is right, greasy, but it doesn't have to be that greasy. Hmm. Because I've well, had good pizza and good wings that aren't that saucy and that greasy. You're gonna have good ribs. You're gonna get a little. Uh, you're gonna get, get a little moisture on. The I finger. like a dry rub grip. Dry rub rib. You still gotta. I mean. But the rib inherently, or the or the 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 wing or whatever, because it's been cooked for a long time, or the way it's cooked, it's still going to be greasy. So I have a hot take for you. That. Maybe it's a hot take for the wings. I like them regular fried and sauced, and I like them charred. I don't like when they fry them; they char them and then they sauce them again. I feel like that's pointless. I don't want that. I don't want. I, if I want them charred, I want them to have a very particular, you know, mouthfeel. And if I want them regular fried with the sauce where it's a little more drippy, I'm cool with that. I don't want to do both at the same time. Thankfully, most places Who charge more. That? Well, there are restaurants that do that. They charge more. It's uh, I don't remember the exact way they describe it, but there are people that do that. So they fry it. They so how I don't know the process before the char part, but they char it so it has the 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 black, and then they they dunk it back in sauce so it's extra saucy. I just don't want that. No, oh, I don't mind. I feel that. like it's less crispy tasting. I don't mind. Wade that. writes a guy that showers once a week is concerned with greasy and sticky <laughs> stuff. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I don't eat greasy Nick's, and sticky Nick's stuff. Nick's particular so about his hands being sticky. clean, just not the rest of himself. Yeah, his body <laughs> can take or leave it, but not his hands. I mean, uh, I might not shower every single day, but I shower more. I'm more clean than whoever left this residue that's still on this mouse. We'll get a new mouse, I guess. Double dipped, as Jacob Bigelow says. Double dipped wings is kind of what they call those. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Sky writes, if all three of you ran for state legislature. Ran? If you, if you ran for state legislature. Sorry. 
what would your campaign slogan be and which of the three of you would win the most votes for state legislature well john is the most right-leaning so john would win it yeah. doesn't even matter what the uh what the slogans are we're right leaning red... meaning correct of no, course wrong i'm correct what would be my slogan um i'll let kids eat running for you nice. you'll let kids eat oh, yeah that was a thing with pillin Stick to sports. He so, shot down a bill that would allow kids, like elementary kids, so to kids get aren't free allowed food. to eat. They got rid of the the free meal plan, right? Yeah, it was a free meal plan for. I children. had a free meal plan when I was a young kid. That's and pretty ruthless of him to Pillen do. Pillen so. is like, nah. I'd rather have approved subsidies for hog farmers. What did you think of mine? I'll run for you. I do like that one. Running for you. Okay, my actual one will be tickling chains and hearts. And he's finishing last. <laughs> What's Probably. your slogan, John? My slogan, I'm not the other person. Oh, that's a pretty solid slogan. The breast! Oh, depending on, uh, like, if I'm running against a woman, I'm not the other, not I'm not her or I'm not him, depending on who I'm running against. Sure, sure. Ha, <laughs> Charles, Nick, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy for you. See, I wish this was for mayor, because if I was running for mayor, my slogan would just be, I'll live here. Hmm. Uh, Joe in Vegas writes, if Nick is only still showering... Every other day, what does this say about his girlfriend? Happy for Nick, but now even more confused. She must like that Nick Musk. Ugh, don't want to think about someone like that. I, don't I did finally sticky. meet the new Mrs. Nick. Oh, I didn't meet her. It's because you dipped out. She was she was there. I didn't dip out. I was there. You Would it surprise you? She walks around with a clothespin on her nose. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 an odd look. And I pictures. asked her about it. I said, well, it's because Nick only showers oh, once a week. She was, she was there Monday, and you just dipped out right away. She met Mark. I had to go home to watch the men's cultural series. You were there. <laughs> just I, go upstairs to watch the College World Series. And Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. I had to do both sports at the same time. There's also well, there a TV. A, well, the there wasn't place. a second game that day. That's why he wasn't going to the game. Yeah, I had to get home to watch the sports, Nick. And take a shower. Oh, that was good. Okay. You said something earlier, and it got my brain working, and yep. it reminded me yep. of waking up at 3 a.m. Yep. Okay. We often say, I often say, fall is the best. And why do I think that? Mainly because of football, of course. But we always say we love fall weather. Bro, I love mm -hmm. hoodie and shorts. Mm -hmm. I'm quoting myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the football calendar was six months earlier, and so it's funny, it would be kind of the opposite in the in the country where like cold weather teams have a theoretical advantage playoff time. A team like Miami, mm -hmm. we'd be coming upon playoff time in the NFL, for example. Mm -hmm. It would almost be playoff time. They would have an example because they play in the heat. And would we still consider fall the best season? Would we still say because fall is a reminder of the cold death of winter that right. is rapidly approaching? So as somebody who recently got into sports, yeah. Yes. I still love fall. You still love fall? Because basically I was trying to interrogate my own opinions mm -hmm. on liking fall because it's football season. But look, there's a certain time in fall where the trees have no leaves on them anymore. Yes. It's very depressing. Late fall is depressing. It sucks. Yeah. The sun is setting at 430. It's there god off. Really this is, is only like two really strong weeks of fall, and that's before the leaves have actually fallen. When the leaves are yet not brown right when they're yeah. red yeah and that's yellows. true yeah so i was thinking about that so do we do i just love fall because football it sounds like it Man. yeah i do like early because i would say i would prefer spring i like the renewal of life i like the trees blooming the other thing is i'm not raking leaves in the spring mm, raking rake leaves, leaves, leaves in the fall it's kind of annoying especially when you know i have Two stupid trees that don't shed until two hot trees until like February. Two hot coffees. It feels like I'm. I I picked up a dead leaf what? in my house the other day. What? Where Wrig did that come from? Well, it must have come from Wrigley. Wrigley got down. Wrigley's got the. She's got this spot because you know it's a little hotter. So when she's outside, she goes underneath one of the bushes that has some shade. And I'm guessing that's where she picked up the leaf. Also, that's where the bunnies oh. have built their nest. Oh, did I tell you about Banks? How Wrigley, get a, down! A bunny? Really? Like within the last month and a half, I heard a whimpering. It was a very sad oh. noise. He chomped. And then the bunny was dead. It was a tiny baby. I am, I, I'm still wondering what would happen if Wrigley ever caught a rabbit. Mm. What she would do. Oh. I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think she would do that. We found... She's a very gentle dog. We found a rabbit's, a baby rabbit's foot in Paige's house once. Oh, 
And we think that it was her poodle, but either her poodle brought it in or killed the rabbit outside and only took the rabbit's foot. Sounds like a season or an episode of The Boys. <laughs> it's bringing in uh, body parts. Uh, some comments on this discussion. Uh, Sad Husker fan writes, the weather in the fall is best until the end of... But doesn't follow up with how they feel. Oh, no, October. did they get hurt before they could finish? I think Probably so. October. I Sam think. writes, the NFL adding weeks and getting closer and closer to March Madness is helping with winter sadness. No, it's not. I, I agree with that. I think it does. It's nice. Uh, Asian Joe, I figured John hated the fall when all the leaves are brown and the skies are gray. No, I like I like all the, the cooler I like the cooler weather. But... It's just, but then it crosses over from oh, Once... this is fun and comfortable to oh no, and then it gets oh, miserable God. and it never comes. That back. first like night when you go outside and it's fifteen degrees and you're like oh man, we are only at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Like Jack said it on Monday when we were doing the show outside in the 100 degree weather, he was like, "I would still take this any day over the the worst of the winter days," and I I couldn't agree with him more. Monday was pretty miserable and sticky, but you know what? There were still people doing things outside. When it's negative five, you know what I don't see? People doing things outside. The people from Texas love that weather. Yeah, we too. wouldn't go do a radio show outside when it's negative five degrees. Why don't we? Well, Weren't we do we that. We're supposed to do that with the reverse College World Series. Yeah, show? We're, we're, so. we did do that show in December outside, and it was really cold that day, though. Sky yeah. wants to know that centaurs have six limbs. Are they insects? What is a centaur again? It's the human body horse or human torso horse body. Oh, is that what it said? Yeah, but it's got but the yeah, but no, they they right. four so they have yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll call it. No, that. they're not insects. Oh, Along those lines, Charlie, do dogs and cats have four legs or two legs and two arms? So like insects insects also have okay. an exoskeleton and centaurs do not. They're mammals. Mm. So they're not. Though an cats insect. do use their front paws and occasionally dogs do too, like almost like their hands. Also, have you noticed lately that hands. sometimes animals and when I say lately, I mean I guess I don't know what I mean by lately. Have you ever noticed how weird it is when dogs and cats try to sit like people? Does it freak you out a little bit? No. Banks was chilling like that the other day. They don't just like lay like, down he, how he they like, should. They're just up. He kind of was like putting his, his paws on my chest, and I just decided to put his whole arms like on my shoulders. And yeah. so he was sitting there. And I think he was like, what the hell am I doing right now? <laughs> is this? this is a very weird sensation <laughs> of how I'm sitting. I don't think he liked it very much, so he stopped. I don't like when dogs and an- cats and animals sit like Back people. on the weather topic, Dave uh, asked, show topic, hello, which is worse, Topical spring alert. wind or Arctic w- winter Arctic blasts? Well, the latter, just because it's going to be colder. Yes. Right? Like, spring wind sucks. But if if you're saying, Josh, what would you rather have, a, a wind when it's 40 degrees or a wind when it's zero degrees? The f- the former, of course. Right. And, yeah. like, the spring wind sucks, but we're all kind of desensitized to it. You know, we have That's the joke. It wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the wind. Yeah, we said that a lot. Yeah, whereas now it's windy, lot. except for Monday. When it was windy on Monday, it felt like a furnace. But most yeah. of the time in the summer, you're like, oh, this feels nice. Yeah, I'm cool with the spring. Feels wind. good on my body. Uh, my uh, my youngest brother, Luke, he sent me a uh, tweet from someone named Dave. Hello, Dave. What are some things that have definitely been in the Stanley Cup at some point? There are a lot of things in here. Some of them I don't want to read on the, on the air. I'll read some of them, though. Booze, Red Bull, pee, Coke, the drink, Coke, the powder, poop, vomit, four loco, blood. The Atlantic Ocean. What has what of those weird things? You think anyone's ever pooped in Lord Stanley's cup? That seems like something that would they would not do. They would not desecrate the cup with poop. I would hope not. I would also hope not. I definitely think But given the debauchery that professional athletes can sometimes do. Yeah. It would not shock me. If I will say no, but I will not. I would not be shocked if there's a story out there about how some guy took a dump in the Stanley. Cup. Think some other fluids too. I'm for sure thinking other fluids. Yes. There's definitely one fluid in particular that I'm thinking. Of. Me too. One in particular that I'm thinking of. Uh, Sky wants to know um, what would be faster: Josh running a half marathon, Nick eating 69 hot dogs, or John yes. thinking of something nice to say about Shohei. Wow. I can say something nice about Shohei. What's your... He's still a good player for half the player he used to be. <laughs> You're such a jerk. What's your mile time again? My mile time? Yeah. I'm aiming for... Uh, I'm going to try to run a sub-five mile next month. 
Okay. That's, that's not, that wouldn't be my marathon. I think the better marathon. question is, say, so can Josh finish a half marathon before Nick can finish 69 hot dogs? So yes. I think my half marathon time would be, if I went all out, I think I could run it in under an hour and 18 minutes. You could absolutely do that before I finish 69 hot dogs. What if we starved dogs? you for a while? Because that would have to be one hot dog a minute. Nick barely did one hot dog in a minute. No, he didn't even do it in one minute. It was a minute and a half. So yeah, I think oh, this would be a fun bit. We could raise money for something. Wait, a half marathon? You're doing a half marathon on what? You said two hours? No, hour and 18 minutes. Oh, hour. Okay. Yeah. Um, So Nick would have to essentially eat one almost every minute. And when we did it at uh, Oscars, it took him like a minute and a half, mm -hmm. right? I think I could beat Nick. I think you could too. Can John find something nice to say about Shohei in an hour and 18 minutes? I just did. Without dripping sarcasm attached to it, though, John. Well, but you're always going to say that because you're a member of the Shohei cult. You're always going to accuse me of having dripping sarcasm behind mm. my comments. Interesting. So you'll never believe well, just me. just say it without dripping sarcasm. I John. don't. I literally just said it. I said, hey, he's having a heck of a season for a guy who's half the player he used to be. Jay Skirtot texts in Nick's girlfriend. Spot the lie! Nick's girlfriend's dog brought in a <laughs> rabbit foot to tell her good luck with this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. It's not the, so lucky for the rabbit. The dog recognized. The dog recognized what was uh, going on. Her dog on. loves me. Interesting, Nick. The L word already. Wow. Her dog. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. This is an interesting tweet from Riley. How does Nick continue to be present in America's most tragic events? And wouldn't you know it? There he is at the Hindenburg. <laughs> and wow, there he is at JFK's assassination. The Hindenburg is my birthday. With his giant hand. <laughs> Look at this hand. I was trying to tell the second gunman to stop. Oh, oh no, nice. don't. Nice, Nick. Mr. Nice. President. Okay, only the second gunman. You didn't tell the first. Mustache Adam writes, having road tripped up to the Dakotas last week, we saw 49 of the 50 states license plates. Which state has the best and which one has the worst? License plates? Yeah. Colorado. Uh, Colorado's is great, Nick. Or Hawaii's is really good, too. I don't know what theirs looks like. I like Oregon's. Oregon's I think Oregon's good. is really cool because it, it's a good. Oh, the Hawaii one is fun. So, yeah, yeah. do we? Are we just doing the base one? Yes. Or are we also going to do? See, variants? here's the problem, though. Everyone now has so many different license plates. It's That's hard true. to know which ones. So, I don't. So, Oregon, it's very light colors. Um, there's like a giant tree. There's some more trees in the background, and then mountains. I think that that is it. It says what the state is. It's not fancy. I think it gets the job. The one done. I keep seeing, but again, I don't know if it's the o Ooh, if it's the Alaska's. original one, but the New Mexico one. It's a black background. And it's got hot chilies in it. It's got no, green and red chilies. No, this is the New Mexico. The one. New Mexico one is cool because it's got the yeah, circle. Right, that is I a good like one, one too. It's very clean. Yeah, now is that so? Is wait, that, is, are you talking about that one, John? No, nope, okay, not that one. So that one. Yeah, it's got chilies cool in one. it. Yeah, this is their regular. That's, See, that, that's the thing. It's it's hard now to, you know, because everyone's now got. They do. It's oh, like, Alaska's is good. It's like man. we've yeah. all turned into Oregon football uniforms. Nice. So Our license got plates, the Oregon football uniform. million, you know, different varieties. It's like, hard to like tell which ones. I like the City ones. Connect license plates more than oh, the normal license whoa. plates. Um, this is a contender for worst. Yeah. The California license plate confuses me because it has the DOT website on the bottom. But if you already have the license plate, why do you need the information for that website? Oh, my well, gosh. Who are you advertising to? That's because a, everybody's there. That's a great point. You don't need to do that. I did. I, I do like it with the the curse of California. It's very it's very clean. I, I ran into someone the other day who was from out of state and most states don't require the front license plate. Yes, but we do. Their front license plate was a California license plate from the 1980s Ooh. that read "Out of Time." That that's sick, awesome. That's the that. back to that's the plate that was on the DeLorean. Well, and back to the future. Played. I I'm sitting there at the light, and and they're at the other light, and I'm yeah. looking across, and it's like, how did he get that plate? And then I realize it's got to be someone from out of state. Uh, Katie says that we have the worst. License plate. I don't hate Iowa's is the worst. I don't hate the Nebraska plate. I think the Nebraska plate is cool. Ours are fine. They are not the worst of my lifetime, which is the compliment. The worst were the ones that were that orangish red. Oh, you hated those. I because I just think they looked good on cars. They didn't like these. I think blend in enough. The one with them reaching into his mail sack also. uh <laughs> That's the sower, Josh. That's the statue oh, on top of the cap. Looks like a guy reaching into his sack. Well, he is. He's reaching sack. into the sack because he's sowing seeds. Uh, yo, he's sowing seeds, all right, John, into the Stanley Cup. 
<laughs> Have there been any seeds in the Stanley Cup? Ziggy asks, what is the highest acceptable amount of items to bring into the self-checkout? Does this limit depend on other factors such as particular store, amount of traditional registers open, how busy the store is? It's whatever the sign. If the sign says you can take 20 items, if you're taking more than that, then you're illegal. If they didn't have a sign, I would say the most that I would feel comfortable with going up to that would be like a dozen. I think I, a dozen items is a normal see, amount of items. I'd see a basket, like not a cart, but if I had a basket. But what if you filled it up with like, Nick, what if you were buying a lot of green beans for some reason? And so you had like <laughs> a lot of green 20 beans, 20 cans of green beans <laughs> and eggs. Well, they scan really quick. So Do they go, though? Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. They yeah, can. but sometimes you have issues with scanning things. I will say this. Um, say it doesn't. So another, uh, another, another, um, another good thing about technology. The the self scanning things they work quite well. Wow. I loved it when the grocery stores around that. here when they start adding more of those. I'm a fan. What Nick? It just takes away jobs. I know, but Nick, sometimes they don't. They have all these empty registers. It, they have people over there who say you can use this now. Mm -hmm. So I like those people. Mm -hmm. There you go. And that's Dumb Debates. Dumb Debates. Wow, what a segment.